back to a brand new video. So for today's video, I'm going to be filming this purple, smoky, gold half cut crease kind of look. Basically this look right here. The other day I actually did a similar look on one of my clients and it really inspired me to kind of recreate the look that I did on her. So if you guys want to know how I created this look on myself, how I accomplished this, then let's get right into the video and please keep on watching. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. I already primed my lids, which is the same thing I always use, which is why I primed them off camera. I used a Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and then Laura Mercier to set it. Same thing, nothing different. Okay, so for today's look, I'm going to be using the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe eyeshadow palette. Pretty much every eyeshadow that I use for the eye look today is going to come from this palette, except the lid color. The first shadow that I'm going to be dipping my brush into is this shadow right here, and I'm going to be using this as a transition shade. So I'm just going to focus this color in my crease just to get a good base color to get started. Make sure that's nice and blended out. Next, I'm going to dip my brush into this color right here. As you guys can see, I use this color for pretty much every single look. So I'm going to put this one in the same spot as I put the previous color. And I'm going to start smoking every color after this one. I'm going to start smoking out. Put that in the crease and then bring it up some. Well, my eyebrows aren't done yet. I did do them first before the like the eyeshadow in the previous video. And the reason I did that was because I was doing something quick and I wasn't really like focusing on my makeup. I had to do my makeup because I was going to be filming that other video, but it was just something quick. But if you've been watching me since I started, you know that after a certain amount of time, I started doing my eyebrows after like the foundation and the powders and all that and i started doing that because i wouldn't have to be so careful whenever applying my foundation around my eyebrows so what i'm doing now is grabbing that same second color that i put in my crease and i'm just packing it in the outer corner just to start applying color right here on the outer corner Okay, so now with the same brush that I used for the first two colors, I'm now going to go into this color right here. And I don't even think I mentioned what brush I'm using, but I'm using the Morphe M441 brush. I think I mentioned this in my last video. This has become like my favorite blending brush. So I'm going to focus most of the color on the outer part of the lid. And then whatever's left on the brush, I'm going to bring it up into the crease and again smoke this color out upward as well okay so next i'm going to be taking the morphe m332 and i'm going to dip my brush into this color right here and i'm basically gonna apply it in the same spot but since this is a different brush it's gonna kind of pack it on my outer lid a little bit more precisely i'm just I'm gonna put it right here on the outer part of the crease and then bring it down some and then begin to work that into the crease as well. Now I'm going to go back in with the Morphe M441 and then just kind of blend those shadows together. Okay, so with the same Morphe M332, I'm going to go into this purple right here. And I'm going to pack that one much closer down towards the lash line. And then work that up. And then start bringing that in towards the inner part of the lid. And I'm kind of just going to stop halfway. I'm not going to bring it all the way. Just so when I cut my crease, I have something to kind of just blend the concealer into. After I do that, I'm going to take the Morphe M441 again and then just blend all of that together. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and cut the inner part of my crease and I'll be right back. Okay, so now that I cut my crease, what I'm going to do next is go in with the Anastasia and Ombrezzi highlighter i'm actually going to use the highlighter and put that all on my lid instead of an actual eyeshadow so i'm taking the morphe m124 to pack it on my lid okay so next i'm just going to go back in with the morphe m332 i'm just going to kind of use this to blend in the gold highlighter and the purple eyeshadow that i used Okay, so I just put some eyeliner on really quickly. I didn't do a wing or anything just because I didn't feel like it. Before applying foundation, I'm just going to spray some Mario facial spray on my face real quick. 
And then I'm going to go ahead and apply some foundation. Again, this is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation in the shade 230. I'm honestly not even going to do anything right after I get done with this makeup look. So I'm just going to apply a light coat because I'll probably take this off right after I finish filming. See, this is what I mean when I don't need to be careful with my brows when applying foundation and my brows aren't done. I used to do that. I used to do my brows before foundation, but now it's really hard for me to do it without messing them up. And I'm going to go in with some Makeup Revolution Concealer, and this is in the shade C10. And then blend that out. Gonna do a little bit of setting, under eye setting, with the La Mercier Translucent Powder. And then I'm gonna set the rest of my face. So I'm just gonna finish off my bottom lash line real quick and I'm gonna be taking this color right here, this one, and this one. So basically the last three colors that I used. And I'm not gonna bring the colors all the way to the inner corner, I'm just gonna keep them like three-fourths to like halfway. I'm gonna quickly give my lashes a quick coat of mascara and then I'm gonna apply some falsies. Okay, so boom, lashes are on and ready to go. I'm gonna spray my face with some Mario Facial Spray one more time before applying highlighter. And before my face completely dries, I'm gonna go in again. I think you guys can tell that I like this highlighter, but I really do. The Anastasia and Amrezi highlighter. Look how pretty this is. Like, I don't even think you can really see this because it's so reflective. So reflective. So I'm just going to use this and apply some highlighter on. Oh my god, look how, look. Look how bright that is. I like broke out in this area right here so bad. It's not cute. And the brush that I used to highlight is still the exact same one. I still use the Morphe M501 to highlight my entire face and i'm going to use the morphe m431 brush just to highlight my inner corner and my brow bone okay lastly for my lips i'm just going to go in with some revlon sandstorm lip gloss and apply this all over my lips but yes this completes the entire makeup look i really hope you guys enjoyed this i actually got really inspired because i did this on one of my clients I say last weekend and I love the way it came out so I was like let me try it let me film it and see how I like it I changed it up a little I know for her I used like glitter on the lid instead of shimmer and I use like a regular pigment too but I just wanted to use um, the Embrazy highlighter because I know how blinding it is so I was like why not give it a shot on the lid but yeah, you guys, this is it. This is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye. this my eyes are gonna fall out of my sockets by the end of this video what is that? <sighs> little straggler hey guys welcome to a brand new video